Greetings and salutations on this episode of Beyond the Ride. It's going to be our first impression of a very unique scooter, the Italjet Dragster. Alright, so here to help me talk about the Italjet Dragster is none other than Renz on Kiko himself. If you know me for quite some time now, you've probably seen Renz also yeah. <laughs> on TV at one point mm -hmm. or another. Yeah, so it's called it's called Dragster because it's not it's really for you know high speed and uh, performance. So super unique. You can see the trellis frame, it's on the outside, but there's not much fairings besides the front, the face. So as you can see, the swing arm single swing arm in front that, that is something very that, unique and yes. quite uh, interesting and check out the suspension yeah the swing arm it's in the middle of yep. the frame right it's an out of the box unique crazy design by Massimo Tartarini and the guys from Italjet but it works and it works beautiful when you look at it my kita mo agad frame engine. That's it. That's right. So that's why when it's running on the road, people are like, "Ani yan?" Yeah. So yung yung acceleration niya, it's not too torquey in yeah. the initial twist, no. But if you need the power, if you twist it halfway all throughout, bararam dama mo yung hata. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And of course, yung mga kahit here, going up here, no, yung medyo uphill ng konte. Yes. Kaya. Eh. Mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 got some it's got some oomph to it. Yeah. So with, with it, kasi comes a lot of accessories that you can mix and match yeah. eh? you can put some Brembo RCS levers you can put uh, like this all in suspension you can put uh, you can change into acropovic uh, exhaust and this is a 200 cc cc yeah. scooter and I understand there's a 500 coming out soon yep I want to point out that it's also not for everyone because it's well it's not cheap it's not cheap. It's all. not cheap. Yeah. 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 So not a lot of people have it for 200 cc. Um, it's in the premium price range. That's right. Yes. Well, it is a premium scooter. It's an Italian yes. scooter. All right. So of course, our favorite waswasero right here, uh, Mr. Naj Abdul. You know, this is a, one of the best cut turner bike in the world. Mm -hmm. Where you can just say for performance. The you know when you comparing to the 200 cc the normal motorcycle this is totally different from yeah. the any motor uh, scooter in the market. One of the best scooter I tried. All right, so you may have seen this guy here on this channel before because his name is Lorben and he is the president of the Multistrada Owners Group of the Philippines. So he's my president. <laughs> but but Lorbs, uh, you also own an Italjet. Yes, this is yours right here. Very nice uh, bike. Uh, number one, of course, it's an Italian bike. Yeah. No. But I think more importantly, it's really the looks. Yeah. yeah. Something I noticed also with the bike. For me, I'm five foot six. <laughs> pasok to pasok ako, perfect for me. Eh. Yeah. But how tall are you, Lords? I'm six, ana six uh, flat. <laughs> <laughs> so. Medyo tangan. Oh, medyo matangan si Lorbe. Oh, medyo malitignan. Oh, de ba? But I want to know how how it feels for you to to ride the the scooter. And it's not that bad. Oh. Pag nag-ride, medyo malit lang tingnan sa akin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, kasha. Yes, of course. Sige, yep. Oh, Sige, put your foot up. Yeah, yeah no? Kasha, oh. Yeah. Okay, so earlier, riding up here to Marilake, it was pretty cool seeing all the Ital Jets together. And you really feel the stares of people. And, because, well, the bike is pretty unique. And it attracts so much attention. And when you see many together, it becomes really quite a scene. Now, several times earlier, heading to the meetup place, people, you know, a lot of people asked me about the bike, you know, in, in, a, in the traffic light. They asked me what it was, where it's from, how I many, of course, the favorite, ilong CC yan. I mean, that's, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a conversation piece. People really will stop you and ask you about the scooter. Now, Italjet has been around since the early 1960s, and it's always been known for its design and performance. Much like most Italian vehicles, I suppose, you know, the bike was designed and built in Bologna, Italy. Actually, not too far from Ducati and MV Agusta. It's an area they call Motor Valley, where, you know, other car brands like Ferrari, Pagani, Lamborghini, and other supercars come from. 
So it's no surprise that the same area produces a scooter like this. Now the scooter itself is not super comfortable, I gotta admit that. It's actually a little jarring in uh, some parts. I guess if a scooter was a sports car, this is what it would be. You know, it performs really well though. I feel like I can push it more than other scooters with a similar displacement. You don't feel much of the power in the low end, but you do feel it in the mid and upwards, which makes it really easy to ride for beginners. Now, leaning the bike is something I was so surprised about. I typically don't really like leaning scooters, but the more I ride it, the more I feel like I can lean it even more. And actually, I kind of felt that heading up to Marilac and I, you know, as, you know, the more twisties I passed, the more I was confident leading the bike even more further and further and further. Um, but of course, to a certain extent, I mean, I'm still not going to push it like a sport bike, but it's something to, you know, it's something that's, that's different from other scooters out there. It's got a liquid cool dual overhead cam, 200cc single cylinder engine, and it puts out a modest 20 horsepower and 70 newton meters of torque. And the brakes, well, the brakes are really, really good. But the suspension is sporty, so it is pretty stiff. And I believe if you upgrade it to the all-in suspension, it would be a lot more comfortable than it is now. Now the fuel tank capacity is 9 liters, and you can get up to 34 kilometers per liter, which is actually pretty solid. I wish the dash was a little bit more special. I mean, it's got, you know, all the necessary information that you need, uh, but at the price point of the bike, I would expect at least a TFT screen already. But again, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay the way it is, but I just felt like, you know, if you're paying that much for the scooter, it should be a little bit more special. Now they call it the urban super bike because yes, it does really well in city traffic, super easy to filter and uh, manage in tight spots. I mean, I, I, I will go as far as saying that this might be the easiest bike to filter that I've ever used. Um, but it does really well also when you take it out and have some fun on the twisties uh, like we're doing uh, today. Now this ride that we just did, is it's great, right? In fact, the dragster I think is perfect for this type of ride. I didn't get a try it with a pillion, but I do like how they hid the rear foot pegs. Super stylish, and just that alone, you know, shows how the designers think. It's kind of out of the box. It's very unique, very unconventional. It's a type of scooter that you know the designers and engineers really love designing and building it. You can feel the passion that they have of the brand and the bike. It's actually really impressive. As I mentioned, it's not a scooter for everybody, but that's what Italjet wants it to be. There's a certain exclusivity they want with this scooter, and it's priced in the premium market. Now, before any accessories are added uh, on the bike, the bike starts at 360,000 Philippine pesos. Yes, it is on the pricey side, it is on the premium side, but I'm not gonna lie, if I had the extra money, I would really want one. I actually think it's a, it would be a nice addition to anyone's garage if you can afford that price tag. All right, so that does it for the first ride of this um, of this uh, Ital Jet scooter. For more information about it, you can log on to www.motodeal.com.ph. This has been Gene Rafino. Hope you guys enjoyed going beyond the ride.